Hello there guys, welcome to episode 3 of this gameplay. Um, the wife has gone to work, the little one is asleep, the dog is sitting next to me now, that means only one thing, it is time for Championship Manager. Um, we're about to face Ajax, um, just looking at this, Van Bronckhorst is a bit tired, so I'm thinking of maybe putting Vieira in that position, taking Van Bronckhorst out, putting Parler in, and we'll see if that works. Um, so the bulk of the squad is remains set. I'm just looking at we've got Derby away in three days' time as well. That's why I don't really want to play Van Bronckhorst um, <clears throat> um, for this. I think just one player changing out the squad isn't too bad. It shouldn't have that much of an effect. But when you think of the previous game with Barcelona at home, um, it was kind of... <clears throat> this is kind of now a must-win uh, game, really, in the Champions League group stage. 2-0, um, not bad. So it's not a bad start. <clears throat> These new tactics do seem to be um, pulling things out of the bag for us at the moment. Uh, like I said before, rejuvenated me uh, on this game. So hopefully we'll see um, a good title charge and maybe even possibly a Champions League charge as well based on um, how well we're doing on that. But you never know. You never know. And it's not too bad because I've just noticed there's Derby away, then it's Spartak Moscow away. Um all three of these games, now that we're winning 2-0 away at Ajax, are actually winnable. So we'll have to see how we get on. Um, right, I think I'm going to make a quick change now, just bearing them. Oh, I thought that was a penalty. I did think that was a penalty then. Uh, Bergkamp is tired. Let's get Will Tord on. I know that I normally wouldn't put him on. Perez, yep. Youngberg is a bit tired. Do you know? Oh no! Do you know what I'm going to take? I'm going to give Lauren a chance to play a right back instead of Duff. Actually, I want to see how he does on that right hand side. Um, as long as he's doing a job, as long as we don't concede, there we go. Not bad. Good result. Good result. Spartak Moscow. Spartak Moscow beat Barcelona away. Wow. All of a sudden, that sets things up quite interestingly, doesn't it? That was not a game that I was expecting Barcelona to lose. Um, I'll leave Van der Vaart at the moment. Let's go to Derby, who are 12th. Right, I'm going to put these guys back in positions that I want them in. Bergkamp's a bit tired. I'm going to play Kanu. Oh, yeah, I'm going to play Kanu instead of Bergkamp. I know Henri is a little bit tired as well. When do we play Moscow? Four days. That should be okay. Right. So let's see. Again, rotation. Pretty rubbish start there. Hopefully we've got enough to get back in it, though. You'd like to think we do, don't you? But you never know with this game. We'll have a look. Um, and again, you've got to bear in mind that we have just been away to Ajax. In fact, there's three away games in a row. So I just realised. Oh, that was a chance then. Oh. There we go. There's the equaliser. Thierry Canu isn't playing that well, actually. He's a five at the minute. Um, I don't know what to do here. Let me just carry on playing. I want to see if Canu sort of changes in the next couple of minutes or so. If not... I will bring Bergkamp on. I don't want to, but I'll have to. In fact, I'm going to. I'm bringing him on. He hasn't really done it for us there. A little bit disappointed because that was his opportunity as well. Oh, Adams, right, Keown, get on. <clears throat> oh my god. What a chance that was for them. Come on, oh, that was a chance. I'm going to do something controversial here. I'm going to take Perez off and put Pennant in that position. Is it going to cost or is it going to... Oh. Come on. Oh my god, the amount of pressure we're putting these on. I 
Oh, do you know what? I'm not going to be too disheartened then. We absolutely battered them. We did. We absolutely battered them. That was that was a little bit gutted actually. <clears throat> right, Adams is out for ten days. Um, I do worry about my defence actually. I mean, obviously, Saul Campbell is someone who I'm going to play from scratch. He's just come from Tottenham. There's no point in messing around with him. I think just get clomping with him at the back. Let's have a look actually. Um, he's still being scouted. I'm going to put a little, little bid in for him. I should put 375 in for him. Um, I, half, I mean, I know he's 1.3. I, I thing is, I don't want to buy two of them. Because I'd, I'd, there's no point in me buying both of them. Because Campbell will still play at centre-back. So I know, ultimately, I only need one of those players in the team. Now the old me would have gone right. Let's just let's just buy any old player, right? Bergkamp, get him back in. Why is he unhappy? He wants a new contract. You were shit in the last game. Perez, if we play here in Moscow, right? I'm gonna take Perez off and shove uh, Pennant in there because Perez is a little bit tired. I think the Aston Villa game coming up <coughs> to me is a little bit more important. Um, but as a team, when we, when you're looking at, at how we're ploughing these teams and sort of pushing forward, it, it it's positive. It's a positive. Um, it's a positive movement that we've got at the moment. So as long as we keep doing that, I mean, the home games we should be okay. We'll be fully expected to win those home games. It's just like these games away from home. That derby game was really frustrating because we did batter them in that game. Um, it was just a case that we couldn't finish. Henri came off with a with a score of ten. Which you know shows that you would just the, the only thing you needed was that second goal. Oh, but we, let's have a goal here. I just I just want to wrap the Champions League group stage up, put it to bed. That won't stand. Uh, put it to bed as soon as I possibly can. The fact that these two are down here worries me a little bit because I was kind of expecting Spartak Moscow to be the whipping boys of this um, of this group, um, and whenever that happens, it does sort of mess the mould up a bit. But ideally, we need a goal here. And I don't know where it's going to bloody come from. Um. Oh, okay. Oh, was that? I thought he said. Oh my god, that was the penalty to them. Holy shit! I didn't even. I thought it was a penalty to us. Oh my god. David Seaman doing bits there for us. Right. How are we doing in terms of condition? Youngberg is knackered. Right, I'm not bringing Perez on. I'm going to bring Parler on. Um, the air is tired as well. That's annoying. Another central midfielder. I might bring Canu on. No, I don't want to bring him on for Henri. No, I need to keep Henri on here. Come on. Nick it. Ah, draw, man. I mean, we're still in those that qualifying group phase, aren't we? We're still there, so I'm not going to get too upset about that. Right, next game is against Villa. Uh, I'm going to leave that video there. Let me just have a look at the league. Port Vale away, doable. A nice little uh, reserve team can go out there for Port Vale. Uh, please remember to hit that like button, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys for the next video.